I'm on a mission to get myself a fire cape within 45 days of membership with one major catch. I'm not allowed to play for more than an hour each day. I'm going to have to find ways to circumvent many of RuneScape's grinds in order to achieve my goal on time. Things like spending hours at Sandcrabs simply isn't viable, and every day the clock ticks closer and closer to when we have to face Jad. Is this even a possible goal, considering I'm generally pretty bad at the game to begin with? How do I use a grand exchange, and all my experience in-game comes from playing Iron Man? Will I lose my sanity or hair during this process? Find out in today's episode of One Hour Limit Locked. Hello again everyone and welcome back. We're about to kick off day 42. It is our last full day of money making before tomorrow we begin to prepare for the caves itself. I'm going to be honest, I don't think we're going to get our ring slot sorted. We need to make just over 2 mil, about 2.3 2 mil to get our ring sorted, to get the invent we want and have everything, which probably isn't going to be possible. But, if I assume it's not going to take me the full session to buy all my invent tomorrow, it might take me like 20 minutes. Then I should have some more time to make money potentially. Tomorrow. We'll see. The problem is I don't really have a better method than green drags. Unless I go back to revenants. And I just don't know if I'm ready to go to revenants. Like the world's pretty busy at the moment. So it's probably not the best time. I'm in a bit of a weird, a weird spot today. Where we need to make like 2 mil today basically. And... I don't know if that, that, I don't think that's even possible. I suppose, depending on how this hard clue goes, maybe. But, and what, one other thing, when I log in, I'm going to be in Rimington, which may surprise some of you because we finished off yesterday at the Grand Exchange. Uh, nothing underhanded happened. I did log into the account briefly to transfer some uh, platinum tokens from my main which were then given to Eviescaped uh, as part of his March Madness deal that he's got going on right now, taking challenges from people uh, for donations to go into a big giveaway prize pool at the end. So yeah, go check that out if you haven't seen the Eviescape series, the March Madness stuff. I'll, I'll have a challenge in there at some point. You will see one hour limit came to, uh, to donate 100 platinum tokens and asked Evie to bring me a shrubbery, uh, which he did not understand the reference at all, which was kind of embarrassing for him, to be honest. Anyway, enough about that. That's why I'm in Ribbington. I figured the first thing I'm going to be doing is teleporting to Lumbridge for the clue scroll, so it was pointless moving myself back or anything. I just logged out where I was as soon as I'd traded over the GP, the platinum tokens even. Anyway... Enough rambling. It's time to throw ourselves in and see if we can make any money today. See if we can make an exorbitant amount of money today. Somehow. Okay, so we're just gonna open the hard clue and then go straight to Lumbridge. Come on, give me a nice, a nice, like, sequence of clue steps that I can actually do. What we got? Mort My Swamp, Saradom and Wizard. I mean, it's doable. It's not great, but it's doable. We could get South Tele, Cheddar G as well. Okay, so we're at 2.2 mil. Oh fuck, my food's gonna get rotted. And I need to. Oh no, I can't reset my run energy. Fuck. I meant to go to the dueling before I used Tele, but. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I have to speak to him? The fuck is this? Maybe I have to start a new quest. Oh, he gave me some pies, that's nice. We're not actually doing Nature Spirit, of course. Okay, we're not far. Just throw up Primelli. Dig. Get shot. Okay, and then as soon as we're out of melee range, he won't follow us, we can just switch to the Primage. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Cecilia followed up, but we can't do that. 
we can't do that at all. That is frustrating. Fuck. Okay. Right, we're at 2.2 mil. What do we need to get to? We need to get to about 5 mil, including selling the cannon. That should get us the invent, and... So we're at about 3 mil. We need to make, like, 2 mil today. <sighs> it's not good for us. Didn't mean to get that much. Yes, folks, it's happening. But I'm not going for an avarice. The price is not great at the minute, and I do not trust it. So, I think we're actually going to take this stuff. Yeah. Not risking too much there. We want some divine ranging potions. We want some food. We want a looting bag. We might want a stam. We still have summer pies? No. Defense we don't use, do we? I think that's, that's like it. Mm, mostly. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been there, so I can't, I can't 100 percent remember like everything that I need. I feel like I've got most important shit. Or no, no horrible nasty PKs today, please. I just want to sit here and kill orcs, and not have to worry about a thing. Okay. Well, we paid our entry fee now, so we have to get something out of it. Oh, I forgot prayer. Okay, nothing special on the first drop. We need some good RNG, basically. Like, if we went to drags, we could get m about a mil. And we'd probably get similar just with average drops here. Although not being scald does hurt the GP per hour. Ah, I'm not getting nerd supplies as well now. Kind of sucks. Yeah, I keep trying to say, like, because we could get, like, probably about a mil either way just off the consistent drops. But there's the RNG element here. We could hit an ancient emblem. We could get a few mil out of a single kill. And right now, when we've so little time left to get such a large amount of money, that's exactly what we need. Oh, two rune kite shields is nice. It's a good start. Oh, we didn't get anything from that kill and somebody else has come to our world. Not ideal. Come on, just die. I think I'm going to bring a reg regular range pot next time so this doesn't happen. Yes, finally. <gasps> Fuck me. We got some Addy bars, woohoo. Alright, our first trip has basically just recouped the cost of entry, so, so far not so great, but is what it is. Pretty sure that guy can skull you. I'm not sure. But if he can, then I will just take my good old trusty snake skin and have a skull on. I need prayer as well though. Oh no, he can't skull you. Oh, fuck it, we'll go to Edgeville real quick. But uh, prayer, that's what I wanted. Or Blight Super Restore if there is some. Edgeville, have a skull please. Thank you. Back we go. Quick reset for the energy, just for the extra energy. Should increase the value of our drop significantly, and that's a PK right there. Bit scary. Oh, someone took the world I was on. Bit of a struggle to find a world at the minute. Also forgot to bring my divines, didn't I? Uh, my regular range pots even. Oh shit, I think I'm watching the guy get an EP kid. This guy's actually like proper fighting back. I watched my man Venge over here running and hammer him and then he was like, no my friend, you can get the fuck out of here. That was pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. He said, I see you attacking me and raise you. I attack harder. A very mediocre trip. Well, nothing. Okay, there's a bracelet. It's our first actual all right drop. Since those were in kites at least. That basically paid for the entry fee. We we've been having shit luck, I'm not gonna lie. Are we on an LMS world? Like, this has not been treating us nicely. Not one bit. 
But the thing is, if we were only going to make like a mill anyway, and that wouldn't be enough either way, then we may as well take the risk. Even if we gain relatively little today, we've then, even if we gained a mill, that would be the same as gaining relatively little, it'd just equate to more supplies or whatever. Ring slot or bust. If you can't get two mil, one mil, I'm not really going to cut it. I think what I'm going to do though, I think I'm going to try the hobgoblins. So I'm just not sure I'm killing these orcs quick enough to truly profit from it. I feel like I could kill the hog goblins very quickly. Definitely the normal goblins. Figured may as well just take them all the way past. Okay, this might be busy as well, so we'll see. Okay, finally got a world. And these kills are definitely quicker. Of course. So if for those who don't know how the revenants work, they all have the exact same drop table. They just have different chances to roll different things on that drop table. So like the higher level ones have more chance of giving you better drops, but they still have a chance on the lower table. You can kill uh, an imp and get an ancient emblem worth five mil or whatever. You know, I just got three room bars here, which is better than half the drops I've had of the orcs over there. It's just RNG, but if we're playing with RNG anyway, we may as well get more chances of RNG by smoking these nerds rather than spending ten minutes a kill on fucking orcs, because it's just slow as hell up there. Super inaccurate. Someone mentioned a different spot to me in the comments a while ago, but I can't really look it up right now. I can't remember exactly the path they said. They told me like a route to get to the Pyre Fiends. Hey, can you refresh my skull, mate? Thank you. Sorry, Jekyll, I don't have any herbs on me. Take your strength pot, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to bank because my range pot ran out and I didn't bring a backup dose. So I don't think we got too much in the bag here. We, we, we've had a very disappointing day. I'm, I'm just not one of them at all. Like from the clue to revs, it's not been great. But like I say, if we'd just gone and spent another day at drags, made like a mill, like how much would that have actually gained us? It's not over yet. There's more time. So who knows? Something nice could still happen. And that's how long it takes for somebody else to come to my world. Oh, I guy tell it. I was genuinely thinking about smoking him. I would have been able to attack him if we were just slightly deeper. Waiting for these respawn timers sucks, but it'll be my spot after that. I might actually be killing these a little too quick, waiting on respawns. It's so annoying when they just spend like a year healing. Some black dehyde is okay. Okay. We're not really looking for okay though. We're looking for kablammy. Yo, this guy's attacking me? What? Well, we got a massive 25k on that trip. Look at us go. This is the worst day I've done in a while. No cup. Hey, ay, ay. Oh, bracelet of Ethereum. First kill of this trip on an orc. Wasn't feeling the hobgoblins. Like, it, it's only a mediocre drop, but it's honestly. Like, we haven't had much more than mediocre all day. I shouldn't get too excited about it though. I'll get excited when an actual drop comes up. Would like to kill this orc today, please. Anytime you feel like dying, mate, that'd be great. Wow, this is actually ridiculous. Some of these kills, legit. Like, some of them take 20 seconds. Some of them take 3 minutes. Okay, there's another bracelet at least for the trouble. <sighs> okay, couple rune falls. I think I should probably bank. Best trip so far. I wasn't planning to stay much longer though. I was going to do a bit of GE shit, but... Oh, this guy's attacking me. It's 
the second time today. Some randoms just started on me. Without teleblock or any like proper PK and shit. <sighs> One more little trip. I decided to attack this guy. He teleported. I almost killed him. That was so close. Man. Yeah, you can't really PK without teleblock, can you? Like, you're just not gonna get anywhere. Yeah, every single person I've attacked has just insta tellied. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm fucking trying to PK level 50s at Revimps. This is what the, the series comes down to. Some atrocious behaviour, I'm not even gonna lie. From me. Yeah, fuck all drops. Uh, fuck it, we're out. Oh, folks, it's not been a good day. I'm not gonna lie. We're not gonna lie. We're keeping it 100. It's been a terrible day. We've done nothing. We've done actual nothing. I mean, we'll head to the GE and so whatever we did get, but pretty sure we've about broken even today. <laughs> Is there any other random shit I can sell on me? Yeah, we got a ring of wealth there. Fuck all, really. Guess divine pots. Super strength, two dose, whatever. Oh, uh, we don't really need the RCB anymore. Okay. Okay, expensive stuff first, because you want it to sell. What a pitiful amount of cash. We literally broke even today. Like, nothing happens. Oh, we had a chance though. That's the thing. We gambled and the gamble didn't pay off. We got absolutely fuck all from Revs today. Absolutely fuck all. Right, just look at this log. There's not there. So looking at things moving forward, we're going to have about a 3 mil cash stack once we sell the cannon. I don't think there's much else in here that we can sell. Not really much of anything. Just random bits like Varrock teleports or nothing that's actually going to make us any money. We're going to have about 3 mil and we need about 2 mil on supplies. So we've got about a mil spare. I don't think there's a great deal we can do with that. I can maybe look up the price of blessedy high pieces if there's one I can swap for a cheaper one but I feel like gothics is just generally the lowest yeah yeah maybe I should have just spent a day at drags and that would have been better but it's what it is it's what it is sorry I feel like I'm sort of just saying the same things over and over again I'm disappointed I'm very disappointed with today not with my performance necessarily just with the results of the day I don't know. Tomorrow we're going to be spending the first portion just getting the rest of the shit sold and then buying our invent, sell a cannon probably as well. We might do a little bit of some kind of money making. We're going to buy the invent first and then do whatever with the rest of the time we have. But yeah, yeah, it's not looking like we're going to get that ring folks. It's not looking like it. Three mil cash stack. With two mil shy of a ring. We did, we actually legitimately did nothing today. I'll keep saying it because it, it was so true. We legit did nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. But if you enjoyed the video anyway, for some weird, weird fucking reason, leave a like on it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 35% of you haven't subscribed. No, that's wrong. 35% of you have subscribed. No, thank you for it. 65% of you haven't subscribed. And I don't know what the fuck you are doing with your life. I really don't. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for the future of this series. If there's somebody in particular you'd like to see me cover on one hour limit. If it's an idea for a challenge or something. 
of uh, X bombs or whatever, you know. Just uh, keep the ideas coming. We're trying to figure out, or I'm trying to figure out, what the the future of the series is because it's definitely had a lot of support and I want to carry on with it. But yeah, still figuring out the individual details of what the next season might look like. Fortis Coliseum is only around the corner, so gonna have to see how how doable that seems. Until next time though, look after yourself, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.